The rock star Pete Doherty has been summoned to appear in court accused of letting his manager use his car without insurance. Andrew Boyd was driving a Daimler when he hit a pedestrian in Suffolk last September. Alex Dunlop reports. 42-year-old Chris Corder was delivering a parish newsletter on a Sunday when he was hit by the Daimler. Five months on, he's still in a coma, being fed by a tube. He'll need full-time care for the rest of his life. The man behind the wheel was Pete Doherty's manager, Andrew Boyd. He didn't stop, nor did he report the crash. He also admitted dangerous driving and driving without insurance or a license. The car's alleged to be Pete Doherty's, the former Libertines lead singer and Kate Moss's ex-boyfriend. He's due to appear before Lowestoft magistrates on February the 24th, accused of letting Boyd use the car without insurance. Yesterday, Chris Corder was transferred to a hospital in Norwich. His family, now faced with having to raise money towards his long-term care. They're organising charity events like this marathon walk from Suffolk to London a few weeks ago. There's still a chance he's paralysed from the waist down. He is still comatosed and, um, you know, still remains that way. And it's really hard to see him. He's hunched up in his bed. His body is still completely clenched. Needs physio to try to open him up. And, um, you know, he's still in a very, very bad state. Pete Doherty does not have to attend his hearing in Lowestoft. But if he's found guilty, he could face a possible driving ban and a £5,000 fine. That same day in Ipswich, though, his manager, Andrew Boyd, will be in court, where he's due to be sentenced. Alex Dunlop, BBC Look East. 160 jobs are under threat at Bernard Matthews. The company is losing money on frozen turkeys. Production will be moved from Great Wishingham in Norfolk to Holton in Suffolk. Jobs will also go in other parts of the business. We expect that there will be around 90 job losses um, over, the, uh, over the coming three months um, and potentially another 70 job losses in uh, January 2011. But we uh, hope that that can be minimised through natural wastage and, and other methods during that time, pe that time period. The police say they're still extremely concerned for a woman who walked out of the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital shortly after giving birth. Agnieszka Marcianiki, baby with girl, was born on Saturday. She left the hospital without the child the same day, telling staff she was going to collect some possessions. She hasn't been seen since. Baby's very well, been looked after by Children's Services, um, but you know, our main concern really is looking for the mother. You know, we, we would like her to come forward and, and I appeal to her that, and say to her that you're not in trouble. We just need to know where you are and that you're safe and well, and we want to reunite with you with your baby daughter. The bad weather in recent weeks is still causing problems. Drivers are being told to be extra cautious after a spate of accidents on icy roads this morning, including one involving a police car in Norfolk. A wrecked police car, another victim of black ice. The two officers were travelling to an accident when they skidded near Malbarton in Norfolk. The driver had to be cut free and taken to hospital. In Norfolk alone, 40 incidents were reported this morning. 35 in Suffolk, although the police cannot confirm they were caused by the icy roads. So far, none reported in Essex. We mustn't mollycoddle them, but equally, you've only got to look to see that the, the conditions are such that uh, just take a little bit more time, take extra care with your journey, and, and the usual advice, if the journey isn't necessary, uh, consider whether you need to come out at all. Winter is far from over, so motorists should be prepared for any changeable conditions. Dawn Gerber, BBC Look East, Norfolk. People living at Brightlingsea in Essex have complained after railings were put up on the promenade. Eventually, they'll be put up along the entire length. Opponents say the railings will restrict access to the beach. Tendering District Council says they're needed to protect members of the public. Norwich City Football Club is looking for new investors after making an annual loss of £5 million. The board had to field some tough questions from shareholders at its AGM last night. The board has ruled out selling Carrow Road to fund a new out-of-town stadium. It says it wants to expand capacity at Carrow Road to 35,000 if the club manages to return to the Premiership. A tractor show in Essex is attracting big crowds. It features tractors ancient and modern and some so new they aren't even available to buy. Vintage tractors, pure farming nostalgia. 
these old machines inspire love. Some people collect more than one and try and collect more than one model of the same make and uh, creates a lot of enjoyment to a lot of people at shows and rallies. But they weren't just reminiscing about the past, they were looking to the future. Well, it's different, certainly different. Take a look at this, because behind me here is the very, very latest in farm technology. This tractor is not powered by diesel, it's powered by hydrogen. Under the bonnet there isn't an engine, there's a hydrogen tank. Do you think it's going to take off? I'm sure of it. Um, the investment that's gone into this, this is half a million pounds worth of um, prototype. So that money is well spent, I believe. What do you think Jeremy Clarkson would make of it? I think he'd be impressed. Very much so. Yeah, it's a good machine. It does the same job as a normal machine. And the normal machines were giving ploughing displays to try to tempt buyers. Tractors a big business. Yes, we're very much a selling show. Everything is priced and we're here to sell equipment. And uh, we will do several million pounds worth of business over the next three days. And those who couldn't afford the big ones were looking at something a little more modest. I own four of these and I'm just trying to decide whether there is one there that I haven't got. And even the vintage ones were in action. This was tractor heaven. Gareth George, BBC Look East. That sounded much better read out loud. I hadn't realised Atlantic and Gigantic were going to get Rhymes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. very clever. Poetry. That's why I enjoy <laughs> working with you so much. <laughs> I can't take credit for it either, actually. Um, last night, the temperature dropped to minus three. Now, for most of us, overnight temperatures are not a major problem, but for people who sleep rough, it can be a matter of life and death. Now, here's one of those facts. On average, a rough sleeper will die at the age of 42. That's the average. Uh, we've been to meet Hod, a man who lives in Ipswich. He's 40 years old and he sleeps rough. <laughs> You've got to be happy, innit? There's no point being miserable. You've got to try and keep a smile on your face. Welcome to the world of Hod. He's going to a doorway in Ipswich town centre and spots a discarded cigarette end on the way. One man's fag butt is another man's roll-up. This is where Hod spends his days. Do you get bored? No, uh, um, sometimes, yeah, but when, not all, no, people walk past all the time, there's always something going on. There's guys no different sitting indoors watching the TV, is it? We first met Hod back in December at the soup kitchen in Ipswich. He's been homeless for 20 years and has had problems with drugs and alcohol, but now, Hod wants to get himself a flat. I ain't on no spring chicken anymore. I'll, like, chill out a bit. Like, give yourself a flat and sort, of sort self out properly. This is where Hod sleeps now with his mate Spencer, who didn't want to be filmed. I'm going to get frost in here in the mornings, most, some, mostly ice in here in the mornings. <laughs> But we've got both body heats and dogs' body heat, so it's pretty warm. We've got a bloody duck duvet. Hart also spends time at the Community Resource Centre, where a hot dinner is just one pound. How long will I have to do this credit thing? Credit, how long will it take? He's getting some help from Millie, oh, no, no, an outreach no. nurse. Hard has a 14-year-old daughter but he hasn't seen her since she was a toddler. And that's why he wants to sort his life out. Mike Liggins, BBC Look East, Ipswich.